Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Uh, market opens up here in about eight minutes. Uh, real quick, for those of you that are new, uh, what do I mean when I say live? I just mean that this is not a situation uh, where everything has already been recorded and now I'm coming back and doing a recap or some sort of post-commentary voiceover, nothing like that. I'm recording myself, seeing the information for the very first time. If you're So if you're looking for just raw thoughts, raw reactions, uh, you know, raw thought process, all that, you will get that here if you want a nicely edited video, nicely scripted video, just to respect your time. You will not find that here. But if you just kind of want a nitty gritty, dirty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then you will find that here with the video. So there seems to be uh, several good choices out there. I think I'm going to watch Tesla out of the opening gates. Uh, so on my screen right there, you can see TSLA. Uh, but I say think because, again, these are live. So I don't know what's going to happen. Something could pop up from now until the open. Uh, and, and pull my attention away. But that's the plan as of now. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I will be back at the open. Well, and just like that, now I'm not quite sure what I want to watch coming out of the opening gates. Uh, this fellow member here, which is a good example of why I would encourage you to join any sort of community, sure, mine or anybody else's, uh, there is benefit. Uh, but yeah, if you're not familiar, I do offer community. And right here, GMAC here just alerted MRNA. And yeah, MRNA has quite the movement already. Let me bring down the pre market chart actually. And you can see. All of a sudden, volume came in, and shame on me. I'm, I'm not sure how, but I did. I didn't see that at all, but thanks to the, the chat room alert, uh, now I'm considering mRNA. Uh, so either Tesla or mRNA now, they seem to be the two main ones that I, I'll have to figure out which ones I wanna watch uh, close, uh, closest, but yeah, that's the current plan. I will be watching SPC out of the opening gates with a very close eye on mRNA. Um, Tesla I've kind of lost interest in now, uh, but SPCE, Let's see what this one wants to do here. And if you do hear typing, you're not crazy. That's just me again making alerts to the chat room here. So be wind me. Um all right, it looks kind of interesting too, maybe. Well, SPCE, not, are my charts even, is this working? Are my level twos working? What in the world? Or is this just that choppy? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if this is just the stock or if this is, Let's let's look at something else. Then. Okay, here we go. Okay, no, that must have just been SPCE being very very choppy. Yeah, thirty five. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to think of this. That's. Yeah, well, okay, there's a big net imbalance out there. Tesla low. Actually, is now looking interesting for a potential long-sided perspective up there around. Nah, still very choppy, though. BYND, though, wow. No, nope, there it goes. There, there it goes. Okay, now it's coming to life here. Kind of. I'm not quite sure what to think of this one. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now. All right, SPCE now seems to be moving with some actual fluidity here. Uh, so there's some nut and balances there out of the opening gates. Interested at 3650, although at this point, that seems like it might be uh, a thing of the past. Would like to see it get up over 38, and then I'd be interested at 3725, but step one of that process has got to be it's got to get up above 38.
There we go. Get up to 38. Even a rejection at 38 would still be good. 37.25 entry point from the short side. In fact, let me get that update. 37.25. Flush point one minute. So I'm watching 37.25 very closely here. Tesla's rolling back over 690. Nah. Well, what I, I made the comment about seem to be so many choices out there. And as of right now, nothing's quite cooperating. But good news is it's only five minutes in the day. I don't want to take it on this candle. Not anymore. I'm not interested on in taking it on this particular candle. And there it goes. So that's right. That happens. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause. All right, well... 37.25, like I said, I couldn't take it on that candle. That's exactly why, because I was a little worried that it might you know, bounce back up like this. But now, if it wants to come back again, I would be interested at 37.25, because that would imply another failure of this current green candle here. So 37.25 now definitely does look interesting here. If it can get back to that area. So watching it closely. But and to be fair, maybe this is the start of a bigger move. And as of right now, there, there it goes. So that is exactly why I did not want to take it on that candle. Because all of a sudden, that would have been a losing trade, would have been stopped out there. Uh, so sometimes when you wait for confirmation, it, it'll cost you and you'll miss the trade. In this situation, I did not miss the trade. It prevented me from getting in uh, and... Not having to lose a trade. All right, well, look at CCIV here. All right. Oh, and there's not even shares to short anymore. So never mind. Never mind on that one. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Are you trying to sucker me in? 692. Interesting area. 692. Yeah. So if I go 692 and I'm wrong, it's six. that's $200 loss. I mean, which I can I could deal with. So I'm just trying to figure out on Tesla if I'm wrong. What is that? 695. Up there, six. Seven. Yeah, I mean, five, two, fifth. I mean, even that, I, I, I could live with that. 695, uh, 690. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a st strong move up. I'm almost feeling like, you know, are these actual good trade plans or are these, are these just me trying to force a trade? Because now I'm thinking I have the YouTube voice showing up saying, Clay, man, the video has been going for, let's see, eight minutes. Eight minutes, Clay. You haven't even made a trade yet. So I got to be very careful of the YouTube voice. It's very real because I have no problem sitting here saying, I want to make a cool video. Like, I don't want to post this video and be like, hey, there's no trades. Uh, and because, you know, I hit the record button, so I will post it. Um, but I, I have no problem admitting that I, I really prefer not to post the, a live trade video where there's no trades. But like I said, okay, we're getting, all right, here we go. I like this. 697, stop over, yes, 697. Stop over 700 if it can come back down to 697. So risking about $150 if I'm wrong. Like I said, need to get some sort of confirmation first. Because maybe this is a truly strong move. So in there at 697.14. Let's see if we can get this down to at least 694. I mean, I got somewhat of a move in my favor, but you know, compared to what I was risking, you know, it's just it's just not quite what I would need to do. Well,
Well, and there's the loss, $167. So in hindsight, yeah, I should have locked that in because <laughs> it went in my favor, but it just didn't go in my favor enough for you know what I was risking. Uh, but so uh, it just didn't quite work out. Well, there we go. And that was, I, I feel great about that trade. That was perfectly fine trade. Nice to find stop loss. Uh, like I said, it did come down, just didn't come down quite enough. Uh, so it is what it is. Oh, GME making a move here. All right, well, starting off the day down 167. Well, full disclosure's sake, welcome to the world of timing. Um, I was right, my overall idea was right. I mean, look at Tesla now, it's come back down. Problem was, just because you're right in a general sense, you gotta still get the timing right. And I didn't have the timing right. I got in, it started to spike. I mean, at that point, yeah. I mean, for all I knew at that point, it could have kept you know ripping upwards in Tesla fashion. But yeah, so in hindsight, I can say, well, if I would have held, I would have been okay. Uh, but you, you always got to remember the other side of that equation. If I would have held and it would have kept going, you know, I could be in a very painful spot. Holy smokes. All right. Let's, uh, all right. 60. Let's see. Let me get this alerted first. We'll see if it can come back would be interested up over 63. But yeah, that Tesla trade, annoying. Annoying to get out and then see it come back in my favor, but that is, that, that's just how things go. One six, uh, what is that on mRNA? Yeah, 159.50. All right, I will go ahead and pause. All right, trying to get short here at 38.25, and I missed it here on SPCE. And there it goes without me. Well, ABNB, let's see what this one's doing here. Okay, and there are shares to short. Yeah, a little, little too choppy for me volume wise. Tesla still doing its thing. BYND, mRNA. To go full circle back to this, and now 154 kind of was that point. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a little too overextended right now. Okay, never mind. All right, watching 45.35 here as a potential entry point. In fact, of 45.50 is broken. How did I not get filled there? <laughs> All right, well. Oh, wow, now CCIV, totally opposite direction. But as I said earlier, I'm not able to short, so not much I can do with that one. Well, just not my morning. For those of you that watch uh, and have watched videos, sometimes I'm posting videos, you know, 500 bucks in nine minutes, you know, a thousand bucks in 15 minutes, a thousand bucks in 20 minutes. Here we have, uh, it's been 21 minutes and I'm, I'm down 167 and, and can't seem to quite do anything right right now. Um, so yeah, full disclosure's sake, full of transparency's, transparency's sake, these sorts of mornings happen too. And look at Tesla go. Played me like a fiddle. And it just keeps on moving. And 680 is a super interesting area, but you just can't take it right now. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I think that's getting way too overextended. So I'm going to try to build a position here if it looks like it wants to get down through 680 on the long side now. Because you just can't go short right now. That's it's too sketchy. But yeah, if this thing wants to pull back some more, be interested. You're going to go for 50 shares here at 678. I would like more than 50. Uh, 
Uh, but that would at least get me uh, in, into the trade, get my feet wet. So I want to see a break of 680 and then a fast, fast movement down. So approaching 680. at 680 and then bounced. That's why I said, you know, you can't take that you can't take that trade short at that time at 680 cuz now look at that, you'd be you'd be feeling some pain there. But let's see how far, how far this bounces. Yeah, 680. Yeah, 5 minute though was just so overextended. Yeah, let's see if it wants to uh, get a little bit more overextended into my favor here. Is that BYND? That's a actually super interesting area. BY. Yeah, right here at 146. Holy smokes. In there at 145.87. This thing goes. It, sh it should go very, very nicely. Let me get that alert in the chat room. B Y N D, one forty six, flush point, one minute. Definitely a spready stock, so you got to get them a little bit of wiggle room. So let's see if we can get that break of 146. Should really send it. Well, apparently it's the 145.80 mark. thought that would get it going. Come on, just break down. I'm thinking if 145.50 goes, that'll be the, the true point that sets off the stop losses and gets this thing moving. So we're close to 145.50. And back up it goes. Come on, just break down.
Well, it is a total waiting game right now. Does this thing actually want to break down? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'm not going to make you sit here through this almost non-action here. So like I said, I will pause for now. And if it looks like something actually is going to play out, then I'll get the video rolling. All right, it's starting to move here. Still got to get down through 145.50 though. Like I said, if that if I think that that's the level where I think of it's broken, it should finally go. There we go. Got it. Come on, just get down to 145. All right, so I have 100 shares left just because I don't know what this thing is doing. I don't know if it wants to break down or not. I could be wrong. Maybe it. But I mean, this, uh, you've seen me, in fact. I'm going to go with 50 shares now just because I don't really have any confidence left in this thing. I thought for sure this thing would be flushing and flushing and flushing. And it, uh, there we go. So it's starting to move now. But again, one of those situations where. And even now, I just, I, I thought this thing would really just get moving. Would love to see it down below 144, which feels like it should be possible now. So trying for another 25 out at 144. All right, well, I'm all out there for $172. Not what I was hoping for. Um, but, I mean, and what I'm basing that, and let me say this, I'm, I was not expecting this thing to move $15 or $10, whatever that move was. But, I mean, this thing has shown the ability to get moving and get moving very, very quickly. And given just how stubborn that level was, and it's still going, but just not nearly as as eventful as I thought it would be. So, um, well, look at that. I'm up $5 on the day and it's also 10 o'clock. And that's uh, the, the 30 minute time frame is, you know, when I really try to be done by, um, and I may wrap it up here, but I'll look around, see if there's maybe another trade uh, to see if I can maybe add a little bit more to it. But yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm green $5. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. I'll, t I'll take my $5 and, uh, and move on with my day. So, um, yep, good. Um, good from a transparency perspective because I get it. I know a lot of times you can go down the playlist and be like, geez, Clay, is, is all you do is like make hundreds of dollars and hundreds of dollars in small amounts of time? Nope, nope, that's definitely not how it goes. Sometimes you'll have uh, mornings like this and it is what it is. So I, like I said, I'm gonna wrap things up and just move on uh, with my day. If you do enjoy these videos though, real quick, a bit of communica communication that goes a long way because these aren't the easiest videos to make. Since they are truly live, I am having to talk to you. I have to think about what I wanna say to you. I have to think about my own trades. I have to execute my trades. I have to think about alerts in the chat room. I have to make those alerts in the chat room. Uh, so there's a lot going on, but I've been doing these for years. So they are possible, but they're annoying. 
And But I will put up with the annoyance, I will put up with the hassle, as long as I know that there's interest. So if you do enjoy these videos, if you find them helpful, then two things you can do to communicate that to me. Hit the like button, leave a simple comment. The comment could be a thumbs up emoji. Something as basic as that does go a long way in communicating that these are worth the hassle uh, for me to do. And as long as I know that there's people interested in them, then I have no problem doing them because they are totally possible, even if they are a bit of a hassle. But um, so like I said, those two things go a long way. But overall, if there's one learning lesson, I hope it's just that uh, it, it can kind of wake you up from the social media days that sometimes you can get in when you cruise around social media and it becomes very easy to just sit there and think, wow, I, all, all, all day traders do is make money. No, sometimes you're gonna have mornings like this where you, uh, I, basically I'm making below minimum wage right now. I mean, uh, so I've made $5 with commissions, not even that. Uh, so it is what it is, but uh, everybody take care and uh, yeah, go out there, manage risk and just realize that sometimes mornings like this happen. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.